Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer the Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'm so glad to have you around during the holiday. I'm releasing a new video every day until December 25th. I'm so excited to share with you some great recipes and some crafts. I release a calendar every year this time, um, and actually you can find it at TrailerParkChristmas.com, and you can follow along to see what's happening during the day. And I see here that today, day two, well, yesterday was gumdrop bread. That was a sure great dessert bread that you could give away as a gift or put it on the buffet table. But I see today, number two, is Christmas casseroles. And people write me all the time, Jolene, when are you going to fix another casserole? Well, today's the day. You know, it's getting cold out there, and, you know, you have to fix things in a jiffy, and casseroles are really simple to fix, and, you know, I like pizza. Last year, I fixed a great beer pizza that you can make in a jiffy, but this year, I'm going to make a pizza casserole, an upside-down pizza casserole, and it's so great. It's cheesy. You can really taste it um, up to your... Whatever you like. I mean, really, you could add olives and green peppers. Today we're using green peppers. But it's my upside down pizza casserole up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2013. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making the upside down pizza casserole is really simple and I've got a pound of ground beef and we're just going to start browning this and we're going to add some spices in just a minute and you can add them to your taste. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we have our ground beef browning up here, you can add some spices to your uh, liking and I like to add a little bit of steak seasoning just like that and probably about a half teaspoon and maybe some Italian seasoning just a little bit like that and of course some garlic powder there we go some garlic powder and we're just gonna brown this up just a little bit more and I'll check back with you in just a moment now that we've got a little brown on our ground beef I'm going to add a medium chopped onion and about one green pepper to it. And we're just going to cook this down until the beef is nice and brown. And you've got the peppers and the onions cooked down a little bit too. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that you've got the ground beef brown, we're going to add a small can of pizza sauce to it. And we're going to simmer it for about 10 minutes while we get the other ingredients together. And like I said uh, before, this can really be changed up to your taste. If you really want to add black olives or maybe a half cup of pepperoni, um, you could really do that if you really wanted to. Um, it gives my Aunt Myrtle heartburn when I put pepperoni in things, so I'm not doing that today. Um, but we're going to turn the heat down and just simmer this for about 10 minutes and get the other ingredients together. Okay, now we're gonna make the sort of batter for this, and I've got two eggs that I've whisked already here, and I've got one cup of regular all-purpose flour that we're just gonna dump right on in there, and I've got a half teaspoon of salt, and then I've got um, about a cup of Parmesan cheese that is shredded. So let's go ahead and put a cup in that, and we're just gonna mix this around to make sort of a batter and I'll check back with you in just a moment 
Now add one teaspoon of oil right on in there, just some vegetable oil. And you're going to set this aside so you can um, build your mixture up here in a 13 by 9 baking pan, which I've already sprayed out. And I've got this, our beef mixture that's been cooking up on the stove top on a simmer. We're just going to place that in the pan and we're going to spread that out. Wow, that smells good with the green peppers and the onions. And we're just spreading that out just a little bit so that it's nice and even. And what I've got here is just, um, they're actually just um, what you would put on a sandwich. And it's actually mozzarella cheese. And it's just one package of it. And what you're going to do is just take the slices and cover it on top there. Don't put the paper on there because sometimes they do that with the fancier cheeses. I got this one on sale. And we're just going to cover the meat mixture with the cheese. Just like this. Look at that. It makes a nice little cover for your upside down pizza casserole. How are you going to change yours up? Leave a comment down at the bottom and let me know what you're going to add to yours. Like a Maybe um, black olives, some people like that, and of course pepperoni. I know people, are, that's the first thing they'll probably add to that. And then we're just going to add the rest of the slice here. Let's just break this one apart to make it all pretty. There we go. And then we've got our mixture here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pour this on top of the cheese slices and meat mixture. So just pour that right on top of your casserole in the making. There we go. And maybe you just need to help it out a little bit because you can't. There we go. And spread it out just a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese up on top and make that real nice. Probably about a cup. Let's go ahead and just add a cup. That sounds good. Oops. You can just kind of fidget that around if that happens. There we go. Now, I preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and we're going to bake this for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's going to bubble all up. So go ahead and set your timer, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. there you have it, my upside down pizza casserole. And look how pretty that looks. It made a crust up on top and I've got the ground beef mixture on the bottom with the green peppers. As I said before, you could spice this up to any way that you like it. You could add pepperoni, you could add black olives. What are you going to add to yours? Leave a comment down at the bottom, but I like mine just as it is, and I just can't wait to try it. Let me give a taste here. This would go great with a salad on the side. Not that I eat salads, but many of you do, so you could go ahead and do that. But let me give a taste here. Let's see. Mmm! That is really good. Very homestyle tasting, and... You don't have to go out for takeout pizza or have it delivered. You could just make this in a jiffy up on your stove top in the oven. And, mmm, nice soft crust and all that cheese and the green peppers and the ground beef. This is a great casserole on a cold winter's night. I hope you get a chance to make my upside down pizza casserole. And if you do, send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the Trailer Park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And, of course, add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there, too. And add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm there, too. I'm Jolene Sugar Baker. And, of course, there's a video every day here at the Trailer Park for Trailer Park Christmas 2013. Download the free calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com and follow along because I see tomorrow there's a brownie recipe and I can't wait to show that one to you. So hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed because there's a video every day till the 25th. Tell your friends, I love y'all, and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride Bye. in the double wide. She's the
Trailer Park Queen. Visit my store at TrailerParkStore.com.